Zero. Release. Look, every single one of these missions um, gets more complex and more sophisticated. And right now we have the single most sophisticated, complex robot ever sent to another world. And, um, and so we're very excited about it. But uh, I think, I think the, uh, the American people see the benefit of, of these activities. We've been on this path of following the water to determine if some place is habitable or not. Now we know that there was, at one point in time, habitability on Mars. We don't know if it was inhabited, but if we were to make a discovery that it in fact was, uh, I, I would imagine you know, everything from that point forward is going to be, okay, what other life is out there? How do we get to it? How do we study it? How do we understand it? It'll be, it'll be absolutely the biggest discovery, I think, in, 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 in history. But I also think um, it, it, it will enable us to do more than we've ever been able to do before because there will be such a profound interest in going further and doing more. We're really, really looking forward to this. I, I'm not sure that people really can sometimes grasp just how difficult it is um, to fly. Um, and this is going to be, of course, our first ever demonstration of powered flight on another planet. Um, but if you think uh, what's required to fly, to get lift from a wing, uh, you need air to do that, of course. And the atmosphere on Mars is about 1% of the density of Earth's atmosphere. And so without that air, getting lift and being able to actually fly um, is something that's extremely challenging. Um, but uh, the engineers out at JPL demonstrated that uh, they could actually get that lift and fly a helicopter in that very, very low density um, type of atmosphere. Um, and so we are really, really excited to do this.